Hey, all my movie maniacs, Mark the Movie Man here, final cut. And, you know, over these 10 years that I've been doing a YouTube channel, I sometimes wonder why I do the things I do, but then I stop. Uh, and so I am not going to wonder why I'm going to be doing these series of episodes. I'm just going to do them. And I'm talking about reviewing all of the Evil Bong series from Full Moon Pictures, except for Evil Bong 5, because uh, I reviewed that on Horror Thursday, as well as all the Ginger Dead Man films and the epic Ginger Dead Man vs. the Evil Bong. Yes, that's right. I'm going to be reviewing all of those over the next course of the few episodes here. So bear with me, folks. Let's get baked, twice baked, if you will, as we first look at Evil Bong from 2006. Director Charles Band who directed this as well as co-wrote it with Dominic Muir gives us the story of three stoners looking for a fourth roommate to help cut the cost of their rent so they have more money for their weed. Enter Alistair who answers their ad and suddenly becomes their roommate because he's smart college boy and also he does not really take care of the, uh, take part of the devil's weed, if you will. <laughs> so, Larnell, who's kind of the leader of the group, and reminds me of Jimmy Kimmel uh, after a long uh, toke, he decides to order this bong because he sees an ad in it. According to the old previous owner of the bong, it's cursed. Well, he orders it, delivered by a strange delivery man, and he gets the bong. And it's a huge bong, but it soon is the huge problem for them because the bong is cursed by E.B. Yes, evil bong, E.B. is her name and she's looking to smoke those who smoke from her and collect their souls so she can get more powerful. And we see how these four individuals deal with uh, this evil bong and uh, try to defeat E.B. before she becomes more powerful and smokes them all. Evil Bong series. Uh, now, I will say that this first one, when I watched it, I found it very amusing for a number of reasons. Namely, though, it was for the characters here. Larnell, who is uh, played by John, uh, John Patrick Jordan throughout this series, as I mentioned, reminded me a bit of Jimmy Kimmel of sorts. Really enjoyed his delivery and his character. Each one of these characters is different. You've got Bachman in here, who is played uh, by uh, Mitch Eakins, and He's hilarious as well. He's more of your kind of sto regular stoner. He reminds me a bit of Tommy Chong in here. And then you've got Brett, who's played by Brian Lloyd. And he's the jock who uh, couldn't quite make it because of a problem. And so he's kind of joined up with these stoners and takes part as well. He's got a girlfriend, Luann, who's crazy crazy about him to the uh, extreme degree and of course we have Alistair in here as well played here by David Weidoff, uh, Weidoff excuse me and I just I enjoyed the chemistry between these four I like the banter between them and it's a lot of fun they know what type of film they're making here I mean with a film like Evil Bong it's no surprise now special effects in here it is a low budget and this is the first in the series but I did like what they did with the special effects especially when they go into the evil bong world. Now, being Charles Band, there are the exploitation elements in here, gratuitous nudity, and there's even some blood and gore in this one. This film is kind of like a Cheech and Chong horror film, and, and I liked that. It's done in that spirit anyway, and, and, and that appealed to me as well. I just got a kick out of the characters and the novelty of the idea of an evil bong. E.B. is voiced by Michelle Mays, who uh, I loved her character and her voice acting in this. Def Definitely entertaining, and you even get some uh, cameos in here by Ginger Dead Man because that movie came out in 2005. You also have Tim Thomerson, the Full Moon regular, playing Jack Death, who makes an appearance in here, and Bill Mosley makes an appearance, and Tommy Chong makes an appearance in the end, and he has more than one minute of screen time. I loved how he is actually part of the plot, especially as we get to the climax of this film. Folks, it is not Oscar-winning cinema by any means, but Evil Bong is amusing, and I do like the idea and the concept of this film plus the characters and the performers in it make it entertaining enough so you can at least sit back have fun and just enjoy the zaniness the craziness the outrageousness that is evil bong one now does this carry on through the series stay tuned here in the final cut to find out because as i mentioned we are reviewing all of them we're getting twice baked here stick with us thank you for your support if you haven't subscribed please subscribe love to hear your thoughts on evil bong and until until next time, keep that ticket stub.